Good evening, we are here at the National Friendship Movement. Um, we are actually having dinner, and while we're on break, there's going to be um, some interviews that we're gonna be doing, and I'm standing here with Miss Emma. Emma, introduce yourself to everyone. I am Emma Willis, the National Treasurer. I've been treasurer since they started having treasurers, and this is my third, third year term, my third three year term. I enjoyed it, this is my 34th reunion. You're 34th? Wow, well, this is my very first one. Okay, so your maiden voyage and my antique. And your <laughs> antique, yes. <laughs> so what keeps you so involved with Friendship Movement? My partner, who's now my wife, and Alan Michaels, who's the national coordinator. Awesome. How long have you been married? Well, I've been married just since October 26th, but I've been in this relationship since 1977. Wow, that is beautiful. That is an inspiration to us all. Thank you, and it's too long. I'm too old now to trade on a new puppy to the paper. <laughs> I like that saying. <laughs> so, someone who is new and is interested in joining the organization, what, do, what would you tell them or what would you say they would benefit from becoming a member? Well, through the various years that I've been coming, I have met friends, long-lasting relationships, and bonding, it's a dynamite place to network and make new acquaintances of people that are thinking the same way that you're thinking and living your lifestyle. Awesome, well we really appreciate all your hard work that you do and we know that you put a lot of time into setting up this actual conference and so thank you so much for all of that. Hey, we are here with Loretta. Loretta is actually a new um, person who is visiting and sharing this weekend with us. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. So can you give us a glimpse into how you're feeling right now about the um, your experience with Friendship Movement? Oh my gosh, I'm feeling um, very uh, honored to be in the presence of so many um, fine people who are, you know, it's really a networking situation, so many people in all walks of life and they've been with the organization for so many years and it means so much to so many people. So I guess I'm feeling honored, I'm feeling happy. I feel like it's a safe place and I'm feeling very um, hopeful and supported. So. Okay, great. Thank you. Where are you from? I'm from Oakland, California. Oh, so you came a long way. I yes, I did. It's worth it, too. And it was worth it. It was very worth it. And I'm um, looking forward to my membership. Uh, next year, I'm going to go to Vegas. And i um, looking forward to being a member for life. Honored to be in the presence of our president of National Friendship Movement. I'm so excited. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So, would you tell the world your name and what your position is? Yeah, my name is Alan Michael Graves. I'm the national coordinator for the National Friendship Movement. I've uh, been with the organization the last 13 years, and the last nine I've been the president of the organization. So, how does that make you feel? Are you like, does it make you stressed? Does it make you excited? Are you feel? Do you feel honored? Well, you know, this is a weekend that I look forward to for the entire year. Of course, I get stressed going into it. We have high expectations. Our, our guests and our members have high expectations, so we want to make sure it's right. But once I get here and we start, um, I start seeing friends that I haven't seen in a year, it's every, every hour and blood, sweat, it's all worth it. So what would a new member get from joining our organization? So our organization is like no other. Um, it's an organization about friends. Um, who celebrate friendship. Um, someone new coming into the organization has a network of friends across the country that has no other motive other than to be friends. Um, and so when I travel across the country for, for work and business, no matter what city I'm in, usually there's one of the members of the friendship movement there that I can call and say, hey, I'm in town and uh, we go to dinner, we go bowling, we go to the movies, but uh, typically somebody there to, to be a friend. That's wonderful, and I'm excited about that. You know, this is my first year with the organization, and so I'm looking forward to a, a whole year. Yes, I love my Orlando chapter. They're awesome. Fantastic job this year. Orlando has basically hosted us this year. Typically, it's a national um, support, orga a national organization. Um, 
I, I rephrase that. Typically, it's it's uh, the efforts to put it together are done by a national team, but because it was in Orlando, Orlando kind of took the helm, and they've rolled out the red carpet. We've had nothing but a fabulous time. This is day two, and we've had just a, a fabulous time. That's great. Then, and all the guys will be happy to hear that you feel that way because we worked really hard. Thank you. And so why is this organization near and dear to your heart? Because you've been with it for so many years. So when I came into the organization, I was, you know, mid-20s, going into my 30s. And I didn't have a lot in common with those my age who were partying and, and um, you know, they, they weren't goal setting. And I, and I came at gr across a group of individuals who were about friendship and supporting each other and learning from each other. Um, I have about 100 mentors now. Uh, and mentors who teach me things from finance to legal to education who are about empowering each other. Uh, it's, we have a good time, we party just like everybody else, but there's another component to it. It's, uh, it's about love, it's about friendship and empowerment. That's beautiful and I'm excited to get that sort of camaraderie with the members that I've met from other, other uh, states and other cities and stuff like that. So I'm excited about it. Yeah. Orlando is one of our newest chapters, and we look forward to a continuing and long friendship. Absolutely. Okay. Do you know any inside information about next year's convention gathering? I will tell you, yes. Today we officially made the announcement we are going in 2016 to Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, we're negotiating with hotel now, but I'll tell you, it's our 35th anniversary, so we're planning to do it up big. So if um, registration will be open within the next two or three weeks, um, you can register for a wonderful weekend in Las Vegas. And where can people go to register? Friendshipmovement.org is our website, www.friendshipmovement.org. Would you introduce yourself to the world for us? I certainly will. My name is Henry, and I'm glad to be here at the uh, National Friendship Movement Conference. It's quite exciting. Thank you for being here, Aaron. When you're a TV host, right? <laughs> Ancient Chinese secret. I am. I certainly am a TV host in Cincinnati, and uh, it's just an honor to be on your show. Well, thank you so much for joining Go Glam. But I'm here for you guys because this is your first time, and I want to know how has it been for you? How's the experience been? Have people been um, nice and kind? And oh yeah, listen, it's um, it's a great fellowship. Uh, I think one of the things that's missing in the community is the ability to fellowship. Uh, it's been a great camaraderie, meeting people from all across the country, from different parts, uh, different chapters. I mean, the food has been excellent. Um, actually, the, this city has put on a phenomenal presentation, the Rosen. The food has been awesome. The customer, the service has just been fantastic. All of the seminars have been fantastic as well. This has been a very exciting weekend for all of us that have attended this year. So will you come to next year's event? Oh, yeah, man, definitely, definitely. Did you hear where it's going to be? Well, I kind of, but maybe I shouldn't say yet. But this will air, well, this will air after it's over. I heard we're supposed to be going to Las Vegas, uh, Nevada. Exactly. Um, we, the hotel is in negotiations right now, but we know where the city is. Right, you know, and that's the good part about it. You know, you plan to socialize and go on different vacations. It's just good to get together with different people that you meet throughout the year. Uh, actually, this is my second time coming. My first time was last year, and I had such a good time uh, socializing, you know, and uh, in yesteryear, we used to have, like, back down in the basement, everybody would just kind of get together because we didn't have any place to go. Now we have a professional organization that does upscale events, exciting, classy events. By the way, it's a very classy affair, and they go to different cities under different uh, chapters and things and have wonderful affairs, so you have a pretty good time, so it's really nice. So someone who is thinking about coming to an event or thinking about joining, would you suggest it? I certainly would. You don't have to know anybody. By the time you get here, you may not know anyone, but by the time you leave, you'll know everyone. <laughs> Which is quite exciting. That's what the National Friendship Movement is about. Uh, I think many cases there are events that are structured towards something else, yes. you know, for people in the community. This one is structured basically upon being friends. And that's the most exciting part about being at this conference. One. My name is Alexander Williams, and I'm a part of the San Francisco chapter. And I've been a member for 32 years. How many years? 32. Wow, that is awesome. Yes, it's been a wonderful ride. A wonderful ride. Uh, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, but all in all, it's been one wonderful ride. Um, I thank God that has brought us to 34 years. Um, 
I thank him for all of the people I've met and that we are lost. But I thank him for the time we had with them. And we just hope it continues and the younger generation pick up the love and the friendship that we started so long ago. And uh, if you're out there and you see this and want to join our Berry Band, we'd be more than happy to welcome you. So why is the organization so near and dear to your heart? Uh, if you go back, for me, 32 years, uh, that was how we communicated. Now it's all mobile, uh, you're freer. Uh, we'll pave the way, open the door for you to be free and to be who you are. 30 years ago, it wasn't. Uh, just give you an example. 30 years ago, we went to LA for a weekend. It was a possibility the bars would be raided. Uh, now that's unheard of. And so to me, to be a part of that, uh, that you did something on this earth to make it better for someone else. Uh, not only did we help pave the way for the gay and lesbian, uh, the world really, San Francisco set the standards. Uh, the country knew years ago the way California went, the way the nation was gonna go. And I'm very proud to be a part of that. We had elected the first openly gay supervisor in the United States, and the rest is history. The rest is history, and I've just been a delighted to be a part of it. And uh, on this journey, uh, I hope I made a difference. Damon Johnson. I'm Steve Johnson from uh, Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. Awesome, how long have you been a member? Probably um, going on 20, 25 years. Wow, and is this your first time? Yes, it's my first time. And so why do you feel like it was important to bring your son into um, an organization such as this? I think the quality of the people who are here, both from the standpoint of their care, concern and caring for each other, and the reinforcement of what really is important in life, and that is to develop sincere friendship. And that includes friendship not only with the person that you're with as your partner, but friendship with people in general. And I knew that could be experienced here, and that's what's occurred, so I'm very happy that I brought it. Is that what has occurred? Yeah, absolutely. I met a lot of new people, and I really enjoy it. Yes. So you're going to come back next year? Absolutely. All right. Now, you guys know it's in Vegas, right? Yeah. My father told me this. Yeah. Telling him that what occurs in Vegas stays in Vegas. That is right. That is definitely true. And so you've been a member for so long. What has been your favorite city that you've um, gone to a meeting? You know, it's interesting that you would think that the bigger cities with lots of things occurring would be the best cities, but in reality, the way French, uh, the National Friendship Movement is conceptualized and the way people work together and support each other, there really is no particular favorite city. But I will say, of the highlights of being here, I think that the um, get-together that we had in St. Louis was simply outstanding. I think uh, this year here was outstanding from the standpoint of entertainment. And uh, what can I say? Those are probably the two high points. Good. So what advice would you give your son and myself and other new members um, to continue going on in the organization? You know, I think the important thing is to recognize that we all are on a continual search for that partner if we don't have a partner. And in the quest of doing that, we want to meet a lot of people. But try to cut through all of the chaff and look for the gold in the friendships that we form in life that will support us in what we do. And so my advice would be to take this opportunity wholeheartedly, make it work for you, make it work with you, and you will continue to do great. That's great advice, and we're gonna take that to heart. And so tell us what your experience has been like with this being your first convention. Oh, I met a lot of new people that I really enjoy. The embracement of love and peace and harmony is really true here. And it also gives me a scope to where I go back home to hope to see that I can see the same kind of um, idealistic views and experiences. Now, would you become a member? Uh, it's, it's in my head, too. It's in my head. Um, because I'm already in an organization in Michigan, and this seems a little bit more more connections as opposed to the organizations that set in Michigan that I'm already involved in. Awesome. This is really an opportunity 
for those of us, particularly from the greater Detroit area, to really um, focus in on the things that are great here, the things that I sort of talked about, and to really commit to looking within ourselves in Detroit and probably get that chapter there going and moving so that we bring to the table next year not only ourselves, but a chapter and all the experiences that come along with it. Wonderful. Well, thank you for your words of wisdom and thank you for coming along. And I think it's wonderful that you two can come and have a great time together. My name is Sherry Ann Haynes and I'm from Los Angeles, California. And so I just learned a new term, ally, that we like to use. And um, I'm going to let her explain to what an ally means to her. Hi, everyone. Um, for me, an ally means being close to someone, supporting them in what they believe in, giving them any kind of help that they require so that they could be comfortable in their situation. That's what I consider to be an ally. Well, we really appreciate you for, for being a part of the organization and just being an ally because, um, you know, this is a judgment-free zone, right? We're just all here to make friends and have a great time. And so you've been here since? I've been here since yesterday morning. I arrived around 7.30. And it's been an amazing experience since I've gotten here. This is my second time attending this um, National Friendship Movement. And I must say, for me, it's been very liberating. And I appreciate the people that's here and the love that they show each other. That's the main thing I got away with last year when I came for the first time. So you went to D.C. last year? Yes, I, I wanted to go so bad, but work and blah, 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 blah. But I'm here now. Yes, you are. And last year was amazing, but I think this year topped it off a little bit more. You can say it. You can say it. <laughs> because of the location, Florida, the weather, this all white affair that we're now attending is just unbelievable. And I'm just so grateful to be a part of this whole experience. All right. We're here with one more beautiful person. Why don't you introduce yourself to everyone? Hello there, I am Erica Gilchrist. I'm the secretary for the Indy Midwest chapter of the National Friendship Movement. And so we've been corresponding via email and conference calls and so this is our first time meeting and so it's very nice to see you to put a voice and a face with emails. Yes, absolutely. And the emails and correspondence that we've had going back and forth, you could really tell how important this particular event was to us. A lot of work went into it and it is turning out to be a fabulous, fabulous event. So how long have you been the secretary? Um, I've been secretary for Indy Midwest since its conception, which was just a year ago. Um, I've been a member of the National Friendship Movement for four years. Wonderful. And why, what keeps you coming back? The friendship. It's, it, it is all in its name. This is the very first time I've ever had someone call me out of the blue and say, Sister, are you hungry? Do you need anything? Are your bills paid? And at the time when they called me, I was hungry. That's never happened to me before, even in the family I was birthed into. The family that I've chosen makes sure that I'm taken care of, and there aren't that many people in a world. So when you can find people who embrace you and love you as you, you want to hold on to that. And that's what this organization is all about. Yes, absolutely. Anyone who comes to even visit as a guest, you leave understanding what it really means to have a friendship. Now, is this your, um, did you go to DC last year? I did. Um, ever, ever since I became a member four years ago, I've come to every single national conference and every year, I love it. That's beautiful. And so you're gonna continue being a member and all of that good stuff. And so I'm new, pretty much. This is my first year. And so what advice would you give a new member coming in to the friendship movement? My advice is really simple, get involved on the committees to find out the ins and out of how the Friendship National Movement works because it's not just you get together and you have cocktails, it really is an in-depth charitable organization. So we give back to the communities that we grew up in, we give back to the communities that we serve. So as a new member, get to know what it means to be a member and then spread the word about the National Friendship Movement. That's the best advice I can offer. That's beautiful and I think we all can gain something from that. So are you excited to see Martha Wash? Oh, honey, I, I already snuck in and reserved some seats when wasn't nobody looking. See, that's, that's what happens when you learn the ins and outs of what happens at the National Friendship Movement. See, don't nobody know that. You got, you got to be involved in order to be able to do that. And last so, year, actually, I was crown queen. I just want you to know. <laughs> what is that? I don't know what that is. 
Okay, so basically every year, they ch you don't run for it, there's no election. Um, the National Committee chooses a male and female whom they believe is worthy of being the king and queen for the year. Maybe it's someone who, out, who just was outstanding or did a really great job at something. So um, I was actually kind of shocked last year when they called me. did something, right? I hope so. Well, I'm sure you did because you're very outgoing and you've, even with me, you've welcomed me with open arms. So thank you so much for that. Thank you for doing this interview and hopefully someone at home who's seeing this for the first time can get a glimpse into um, what the organization is all about.